Hey, what is going on guys? It is P Wind here and um today I'm gonna be recording a video and showing you guys how to get a randomizer for your Pokemon emulator games. Alright, so let's get right into this. So first of all you're gonna need WinRAR. Um most people probably have that. Uh, I show it in every one of my tutorial videos like this. Just look up WinRAR download, go to the first link, find your version, so it's sixty-four bit is what you'd want if you have the sixty-four bit computer. And you go through the downloaded instructions and you'll have WinRAR. So that is pretty simple. And next, what you're gonna want is to get the randomizer. So first, so just look up Pokemon Emulator Randomizer. And you just take one of these Universal Pokemon Game Randomizer, the first link. So this one right here. And you go to downloads. And then for your, you find your version. So I am Windows, so I'll download Windows.exe version, and it will come up with this. And what you need to do is go to your files, find that, and open it up with WinRAR. So here it is, and you can just extract it to your desktop, and. I'm gonna just do that since I have it. What the heck? Okay, so you'll extract it to your desktop and then you'll get a folder and it will look like this. Where is my randomizer folder? It'll look something like this. Um, hold on, guys. Let me fix this here. I have it all running. Okay, so your folder will look like this and this randomizer.exe is what you want. So you can either keep it in the folder or drag it onto your desktop. And if you did it correctly, you can open it up and it'll come up with something like this. And so next we're gonna need a ROM. So some, I found out that some ROMs like don't work with this, like some of the DS ROMs. This works with GBA and DBA, DS games. So uh, I just suggest using the, just look up Pokemon games, download ROM like this on your search engine. And then scroll down to the third one and it'll take you to this page and so here's all the games so let's say I want to play Pokemon black 2 right and uh, it'll take me to this page and I'll click download now and I'll download it down here and so let that download and once it is downloaded you're gonna want to let that download and open it up and then what you need to do is extract to desktop, click OK, and let it do this. Do all that good stuff there. And so now it's extracted to your desktop, and this right here is your ROM. And next, what you're going to want to do, so the thing is with the randomizers, they only work, like if you click this, this is the, the reason it wasn't working, like, if you only have a certain type because it has to be this it has to be dot gb dot sgb dot gbc dot gba or dot nds and dot nds is the only working one so what we're going to do next is create a new folder and title that folder whatever you want i'm just going to title it randomized games because this is the folder where we're going to want to put our games when we import them to the desktop so next you want to click on this open ROM and you should see your game that you have so Pokemon black 2 which is right here as long as it's on your desktop because that's what we're just gonna search and then so you're gonna click on it and it will open this up and so now is the fun part where you get to pick everything that you're randomizing so I'll just take you through everything so we have the Pokemon base stats so that's just like their stats obviously you can leave that unchanged whatever um, abilities it depends on the ability that you want them to have and if you hover over everything it'll tell you like what it is I'll just run you through so Pokemon abilities their types I usually don't want to um, randomize their types because I just feel like I like to have them at the same type that they already are like I'll randomize it to get the Pokemon I want and then the evolutions I'll usually leave unchanged as well and then next you go to starters so this is usually what you can do you can customize the starters that you start with so you can make this any of these that are in the game i believe 
Okay, yeah, it just has all the Pokemon that are in this game. So yeah, there's that. So you can make it, and then just you can random it or random with two evolutions. And then static Pokemon, you can do whatever with that. I just random it completely. In-game trades, randomize both and requested and given. So trades, you can just trade it however. Or you could randomize given to get random uh, given Pokemon, obviously. And then move sets, you can randomize the power of the move, the accuracy, the PP, and the move types. So I would just do, that's the move data, so I would just change the move sets if you want them to have their own random move set. So I just do random, or you can do random with the same type or metronome only. So I'm going to do random completely. Trainer Pokemon, you can make that random or type theme. So if it's like a swimming trainer, then they'll have water type Pokemon, but it'll be random. And so you can make that random. And then it, these are all the, the specific like stats that you can make it. Here, wild Pokemon, that's what makes it fun. Obviously, set that to random. You can just do any of these. And this, you can randomize their held items and stuff like that. And all that stuff. And then TMs and HMs, tu tutors. I wouldn't mess with the HM tutors just because um, you don't want to like not be able to get an HM. Because then how are you going to go through the game, right? There's a TM, I don't know. Um, field items, that's like, if you find like the little Pokeballs out in the wild, that'll be a random item. So you can randomize that, and this is just miscellaneous tweak. And once you do that, is you're going to click randomize save, and then find your folder. So, it is called randomize games, enter name, so we're going to click Pokemon Black, oh, Pokemon, Pokemon what is this black to did I just spell, what is going on right now with my keyboard Pokemon black to randomized dot NDS I'm gonna click save I'll do this and you can click yes or no if you're doing a race don't click yes and then I'll tell you where it's saved to and if you want to save the settings that you used, it'll give you this, and you can click produce file, so you'll have that save set. If you want to like share it with your friends, so you can do a race or whatever. And so now we're going to want to find our folder titled randomized games, and it is in here. As you can see, this is the NDS file. So you can drag that onto your desktop, find the emulator you want to open with, which in our case is the DS emulator. Drag it onto there to open it with the DS, and then I'll show you guys that it works in a second once I get there. Okay guys, so I've gotten to the scene where I choose my Pokemon, and if we did this right, it worked, and it did, as you can see. The three options are Talo, Pharaoh, and Dugong. So, as long as you did everything correctly, and clicked all your settings, then you'll have your randomized game, and you're ready to go. So, that is the video guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, and remember to like and subscribe. Alright, thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.